Doctor, talk about endocrine disruption and what is that and how does that affect us? Extremely severe. It can be. And it focuses especially on genetically modified foods. Okay. I mean, we have the biggest objection to it from the GMO manufacturers, right? Mm -hmm. Monsanto and all these things. You know, did you know, like, for example, when you are out, when you are eating corn, corn chowder or anything, most likely that's genetically modified mm -hmm. food. And a few weeks ago, from Cayenne University in France, came one of the most important publications by a Professor Zerolini, and he is known in this field forever. He fed genetically modified foods and the toxins associated with that in levels far below, you know, I mean, what anybody would accept. And they still, the animals grew tumors and cancers. It's humongous. Like, as a matter of fact, if you, if you go to our website, the anti-agingforme, F-O-R-M-E.org, and you look around a little bit, you'll see the pictures mm. of these animals, including organ malfunctions, right? Now, however, the mechanism that we always thought was correct, like the hormone comes to the cell surface, to initiate something, it's a lock and key, it hooks in, it passes a message along to the inside of the cell, a prostaglandin picks up the message, brings it to the nucleus, the nucleus then a gene is copied, for example, when you um, make a compound anything related to immune functions, right? Mm -hmm. And it's copied and that mm -hmm. results in a, what is called a messenger RNA. That messenger RNA travels to the inner cytoplasma to the rRNA, the ribosomal RNA, that's considered the workbench, and tRNAs, transfer RNAs, bring the different amino acids to make everything, and then everything is put together, and everything works fine. Four steps in all of this can be inhibited and affected by the toxins, by endocrine disruptors, genetically in my food, et cetera, et cetera. Now, and here comes the real trick. The manufacturers of these GMOs and Monsanto and always their big objection was, yeah, you know, you, you have a point there with this mechanism, but it's far from established. Well, guess what? A few weeks ago when they gave the Nobel Prizes, mm -hmm. there was one, I believe it was Duke University, the other was Stanford, the two researchers, proven that this mechanism is correct. Magnificent science. Mm -hmm. We've got it all there. Right? While in mm -hmm. European countries, these Franken foods are banned or very much restricted, here we don't even have a chance to find out if it's poison what we're buying or not. Mm -hmm. It's disgusting. Mm -hmm.